liver detoxification integrating mars with crrt i wish i always start my slide with the glory of medicine is constantly improving and there is always more to learn first we will go for yellow phosphorus poisoning which produces acute liver failure it is a rodent disease available as 2% to 5% of yellow phosphorus minimum lethal dose is 15 mg maximum lethal dose is 60 mg that is 1 mg per kg body weight it emits smoke phosphine gas and has got a very strong garlic odor this is the yellow phosphorus which is available as cake granules and paste it can be absorbed through skin mucous membrane respiratory and gastrointestinal epithelium bile salts are important for the absorption of phosphorus because of water content and low oxygen tension phosphorus remains stable in gut for longer period phosphorus is a protoplasmic poison causing cardiac hepatic renal and multi organ system failure here you can see the ratol paste which is red in color the close up paste is also red in color so the children inadvertently take this ratol paste and use as a paste and die they pass through three stages first stage occurs within 24 hours asymptomatic with local gastrointestinal irritation second stage occurs between 24 to 72 hours after ingestion patient may be asymptomatic and discharged prematurely there may be mild elevation of liver enzyme and bilirubin in this stage the third stage which is an advanced stage that occurs after 72 hours until the resolution of symptoms or death occurs hepatomegaly and jaundice appear they may go in for acute fulminant hepatic failure mandating liver transplantation bleeding due to coagulopathy and thrombocytopenia may develop patients may develop acute tubular necrosis present with acute renal failure hemolysis can occur due to destruction of rbcs by the phosphorus central nervous system effect like confusion psychosis hallucination coma occurs and terminal event of cardiac toxicity include hypotension tachycardia arrhythmias toxic myocarditis and cardiogenic shock clinical staging is divided as category 1 and category 2 category 1 more than 1 mg per kg body weight that is a lethal dose category 2 less than 1 mg per kg body weight that is a sub lethal dose <coughs> no specific antidote for yellow phosphorus it is directed at the removal of the poison and supportive care lavage with potassium permanganate is done to convert the phosphorus to relatively harmless oxides charcoal can be used 1 g per kg body weight and multi dose activated charcoal 0.5 g per kg body weight every 6 hourly is used non fatty purgatives like magnesium sulfate to eliminate the phosphorus is used as this charcoal produces so many complications nowadays we directly go in for gastroscopic decontamination and regarding the management n acetyl cysteine is tried earlier hemodialysis if renal failure develops mars with crrt in acute liver failure when more than 90% of the liver necrosis occur liver transplantation is the only choice how do we give the dose of n acetyl cysteine it is varies according to immediate presentation and late presentation immediate presentation occurs within 8 to 10 hours it is administered as 20 hour dose that is three doses 150 mg per kg iv in 30 minutes 50 mg iv in 4 hours and then 100 mg iv in 16 hours late presentation more than 10 hours after ingestion that is 140 mg per kg iv in 1 hour and maintenance dose 70 mg per kg iv in 4 hours for at least 12 doses injection glutathione precursor of acetyl cysteine 600 mg daily iv for 5 days is given and injection vitamin k 1 ampule iv is given for 5 to 7 days acute liver failure due to yellow phosphorus poisoning is secondary to loss of synthetic function within days to week of the first symptoms of the liver disease 
we classify it as hyper acute liver failure that occurs between 0 to 7 days and acute liver failure that occurs between 8 to 28 days retinal phase produces hyper acute liver failure the mortality rate in acute renal failure is 50 to 90% which is due to acute metabolic disturbances acute hepatic encephalopathy and severe coagulopathy up to 70% of liver necrosis liver support system improves the survival more than 90% of the liver necrosis liver transplant is the only choice following transplantation the survival rate improves the clinical features are due to progressive hepatic synthetic and metabolic dysfunction this leads to severe coagulopathy jaundice renal failure worsening encephalopathy and metabolic dysfunction liver support system include acute liver failure includes therapeutic plasma exchange and liver dialysis or mars how do you quantify the involvement of the liver major limitations of liver biopsy include lack of representation of liver as a whole since most features are diffuse and in coagulopathy liver biopsy increases the risk of bleeding so we should know the functional anatomy of the liver where the liver are divided into eight segments of which four segment is 4a and 4b so we do mri quantification of fat deposition of the liver involvement and we find how much cells are affected if the fat quantification is below 6 up to 5% of the cells are affected and it is grade 0 or normal if the fat quantification is more than 6 to 14 5 to 33% of the liver cells are affected which is grade 1 or mild in grade 2 or moderate 15 to 20% of fat quantification occurs and 34% to 66% of the cells are affected if more than 20 of fat quantification are present, 67% or greater cells are affected, it is grade 3 or severe. Here is an example where you can see fat quantification in each lobe which is more than 20 and it is grade 3 fat liver where more than 67 to 70% of the liver are affected. Here you can see the figure of the MRI and the echogenicity of the normal liver. Here you can see the echogenicity of grade 1 liver where you can see fatty infiltrations on both sides. In the next photo, you see completely the echogenicity is lost and it is grade 3 fatty infiltration where more than 70% of the liver cells are affected. The supportive care include ICU admission, airway protection, hemodynamic stabilization, anti-encephalopathy measures and antibiotics. We come to molecular adsorbent recirculating system MARS in acute liver failure secondary to yellow phosphorus poisoning. MARS is indicated when INR is more than 3, when the liver enzymes are elevated more than 1000 and when there is hepatic encephalopathy. This is the MARS machine which can be integrated with the liver support CRRT. How do we do this MARS? In this circuit, blood is dialyzed against a self-contained 20% albumin solution across an albumin impregnated high-flux polysulfone filter. The Mars flux filter extra corporal volume is 150 ml and the remaining is 600 ml. So, 600 ml of 20% albumin is used. Six albumin are used. This system does not allow filtration of the patient's albumin but rather allows albumin bound toxin to the transferred across the filter via the impregnated albumin. Once the toxin have been transferred to the intracircuit, albumin solution, it is dialyzed against a standard low flux dialysate filter in the CRRT and bath, whereby water soluble molecules are removed. The toxin laden albumin solution is then scrubbed and regenerated by passing through an activated charcoal filter and an ion exchange column. The process repeats itself for up to 8 hour session. During the Mars therapy, both albumin soluble and water soluble toxins are removed. The albumin bound toxins are aromatic amino acids, bilirubin, bile acid, copper, middle and short chain fatty acids, nitric acid and protoporphyrin. Water soluble substances are ammonia, urea, creatinine, tryptophan, TNF, alpha, A and interleukin cytokines. Larger molecules like clotting factors, immunoglobulin, hormone binding proteins, albumin are not removed. In this system, we find significant improvement in hyperbilirubinemia, 
coagulopathy and encephalopathy. Mars also improves the cerebral blood flow, mean arterial pressure, cerebral perfusion pressure, cerebral metabolic rate, and increased hepatic blood flow. So this is a patient with Mars where you can see the Mars filter and you can see the <coughs> low flux filter and you can see also the charcoal perfusion. This patient was referred with hyperbilirubinemia and he went in for two cycles of Mars and he was saved. What is the significance of the liver function test? The magnitude of the elevation of amino transferases level and the rate of decline do not affect the prognosis. When the patient spontaneously recovers, serum bilirubin concentration and INR normalize. When the disease progresses, bilirubin level continue to increase due to intrahepatic cholestasis. INR remains prolonged despite declining ALT level. At the same time, blood lactate is an important prognostic factor for the patient's recovery. So what did we learn in this yellow phosphorus poisoning? Up to 72 hours, no symptoms. After 72 hours, they go in for severe hepatic encephalopathy, which is confirmed by liver function test and prothrombin test. All rodenticide poison patients should be reviewed at least once with liver function test value in a week's time. How are you going to apply this treatment? This management can be applied for all hepatotoxic poison like paracetamol, that is acetaminophen poisoning, mushroom poisoning, that is amanita phalloids, yellow phosphorus poisoning, herbal products, and carbon tetrachloride. So, non-hepatotoxic toxin can also be removed. For example, the toxins which are bound to the protein can be removed. Here you can see in kidney international report, treatment of severe amylodipine toxicity treated with molecular adsorbent decirculating system. And similarly, in the Journal of Toxicology, intoxication with calcium channel blocker and other high protein bound drugs using Mars 2 case reports, which were successfully retired. Amylodipine is a long acting calcium blocker of dihydropyridine class, and 90% is protein bound. Toxicity results in bradycardia, hypotension, atioventricular, and bundle branch, decreased cardiac inotropy, and profound vasodilatation. It is highly protein bound and not dialysable through conventional hemodialysis. Albumin augmented dialysis with Mars removes high protein bound amlodipine. We have treated two cases of amlodipine overdosage with profound cardiogenic shock successfully with Mars. And there is also another case report where this amlodipine as it is a cardiac depressant, they have started on ECMO and along with ECMO, they have used this Mars and successfully treated the patient. Well, what is the significance of Mars and its use in toxicology? Mars has been proposed for the management of acute poisoning with or without liver failure. Using the Mars circuit, protein brown toxin diffuse across the membrane of a high flux dialyzer from the blood and into the albumin solution. This albumin solution is then cleaned of its bound toxin by passage through an activated carbon absorber and an anion exchanger placed in series in the albumin circuit. In addition, albumin is used to prime both sides of the Mars dialyzer, which allows albumin to coat the deep crypts of the membrane surface and aids in clearance of protein-bound substances in the blood. Along with the Mars machine, we use the CRRT machine also, which also helps in the movement of water-soluble poison. Thank you.